and welcome to That's Just Prime, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers, Deluxe of the Moon, Deluxe Class, and also Movie Trilogy, Optimus Prime, and I love these toys. These are going to be a two-for-one in this video. We're going to do two figures in one video, uh, since as you can probably see here, they're pretty much the same thing, just one was a second release of the other that came with the trailer, so we'll be taking a look at those in order, but I figured I'd go ahead and do them both in one shot. Uh, this video is brought by request. Uh, I'm trying to get through uh, all the requests right now. In fact, that's something that I, I forgot to mention in my video of the Beast Hunters Ultimate Optimus Prime. Um, that was also a request, as is this guy. Right now, uh, I'm getting a lot of requests, and I'm trying to do those videos instead of just randomly grabbing something off my shelf. So I'm really enjoying that right now. It's kind of keeping me on my toes, and it's getting me to do something different to where uh, sometimes I just see something and I want to review it or whatever. Uh, but you guys sending me the review, the, or the requests, rather, it just it kind of gets me to review something that I hadn't thought of quite yet. So I'm really enjoying that. Keep those requests coming, and I will do my best to get to them as soon as possible so like i mentioned here we got two figures so we're going to start off right here uh with the guy on the right this is the deluxe class uh optimus prime for dark of the moon this was a walmart exclusive released in june of 2011 for approximately ten dollars or so is what the uh, deluxe figures were going for back then uh like i mentioned it is a walmart exclusive it came carded as uh, just the truck that you see here and then later, uh, about in February of 2012, we got the movie trilogy Optimus Prime that came in a box. This was a more uh, more of a mass release. Uh, every store just about had this guy. And as you can see, it's a repaint of this guy right here, but he came with this trailer. And it retailed for approximately $30. Now, here in truck mode, uh, by himself right here, uh, Optimus measures approximately 6 inches long. He's about 2 inches tall. And then back here with the trailer, the trailer's about nine and a half inches long. It's about three inches tall, giving the total truck length about 14 inches. So he actually gets a good size on him. So let's, uh, let's get this guy out of the way for right now. And we are just going to concentrate on this first one right here. So, uh, a lot of very nice detail on this guy. Uh, the paint job on this guy is unpainted. I mean, uh, unaltered. This guy, as you see him right here, I have done no modifying or no customizing to this paint. So, very, very nice paint job. This, uh, this is the Walmart exclusive one. And it has a, a kind of like a deluxe paint job, if you ask me. You know, you see the, the gold, the shiny kind of metallic gold uh, up here on the front of the nose. as And it kind of just fades back into the hood itself. Uh, the wheels are painted. Uh, unlike this guy right here, he came with unpainted wheels. I actually painted the, the wheels on both the trailer and the truck myself continuing my war on unpainted wheels so uh yeah this guy's pretty nice he was the first one to come out and uh, i absolutely just love the paint job on this guy he did uh he rolls he rolls very nicely and uh, as you can see lots of very cool details uh very a lot of detail like truck detail really you know you got the little panels on the back here i've been thinking about maybe painting those chrome uh, or silver rather like they were in the movie but I never really kind of jumped the, um, jumped off the ledge with that one. But I, I still, every time I see it, I kind of think about it. And then uh, you got a truck hitch back here that also works, as you saw with the other guy. A very nice little truck. I enjoy this very, very much. This is one of my favorite movie movie primes. Um, the two that came out for Revenge of the Fallen, the Leader and the Voyager class. <clears throat> excuse me. Those are probably the best molded Optimus Primes in the entire movie line. They, the, those are the ones that look the most like the ones in the movie, uh, and they're very articulated, very, very nice figures. Very closely following those guys is this guy right here. I enjoy this Prime so, so much. Dark of the Moon did so many things right in that they simplified the transformations. They made them, they made them simple enough to where you could, uh, you, you, you didn't really have to dread picking one up and having to transform them like the Revenge of the Fallen guys felt. Some of those guys felt so complicated. Just looking at it from a child's point of view, I can see a child not wanting to transform some of those Revenge of the Fallen toys. They were very complicated. With this, these guys for Dark of Moon, they fixed a lot of that because the transformations were uh, a lot more simple and fun to do. But they still managed to do a lot with very simple transformations. And you'll see that when we transform this guy. He did come with a weapon. Uh, which is uh, one of these uh, mech tech weapons that we that we were getting uh, back in those days. A cool little gun-looking deal right here, spring-loaded. So if you pull back on the little sight right here, 
you get this little axe that pops out. So, uh, unfortunately, it does not lock out the, with the uh, with the deluxe figures. All the mech tech weapons with the deluxe figures were uh, spring loaded, so you could just kind of do that with them. And but when you let them go, they always went back to their original position. Unlike the say the Voyager weapons, the Voyager weapons did have a lock feature, so you would have been able to like pull that out, deploy that out, and lock it in in a way that that stayed out. So, but not the case with the deluxe. So, uh, but yeah, very fun. These, these are these are fun. I like to like um, harass my dogs with these. They absolutely hate these things, and they just want to bite them right off my hand. So that's always fun. Now, as far as storage goes for this guy, you got a couple of mech tech ports right up here on the roof, so you can pop this guy into either one of those and make him look absolutely ridiculous. So <laughs> there you go. There's that. Um, so what do we do with the weapon storage if you don't want to be ridiculous like this? Well enter this guy right here so pretty much like i mentioned this guy came out about a year after that original one and this was the tr movie trilogy optimus prime uh more of a mass release this guy uh, uh was released uh, uh just about every other store unfortunately this guy i don't if if i haven't mentioned it already this guy retailed for approximately thirty dollars and uh, this guy just sat there collecting dust on shelves. Uh, eventually, these guys got cleared out for about 20 bucks. Uh, and I think some people even managed to get these for like 15 uh, which is a really good deal because this is an excellent, excellent toy. So, um, as, I'm, uh, as I was mentioning, the, uh, the truck is absolutely the exact same thing as this guy over here. Nothing changes except for the paint job. As you can see, um, I think this one, the Walmart one, had a little bit of a better paint job than this guy did. Um, you can see the, uh, the metallics right here like, that I was mentioning on the nose. Uh, you don't really have that. You have a little bit of, like, orange fade is probably going to be a little difficult to tell with the lighting in the camera right here. But it has, like, a little bit of a uh, lighter orangey red towards the front and then a little darker towards the back. So it does have a little bit of a fade, but not quite like the one that the Walmart one did. Um, but I do like some of the colors uh, better on this guy as well because, for example, that truck hitch, or the trailer hitch, rather, is that darker gray. Uh, I like that better than this lighter gray over here. And uh, some, some of the gray tones on this guy um, I just like better than the Walmart one. So it's kind of a, a flip of a coin, really. I, I do really enjoy these guys both very, very much. But other than the paint job, they're pretty much the same thing. And like I mentioned, this guy had black wheels, which I later painted. Um, he comes with the trailer, so let's see, let's set this guy aside and take a look at the trailer. Very cool trailer, uh, just like the one you saw in the movie, just the, the basic silver box with not a whole lot of detail to it. It is reminiscent to the G1 in that he's got that, that angled stripe, but of course they added no no color to that. Uh, he's got a cool little like refrigeration unit on the front here, just like he did in the movie with an Autobot logo right there. Uh, this is weird because he's got the Autobot logo tempographed on this side, but then when you go over here on this side, there's no Autobot logo there. So that's kind of weird. I've thought about maybe putting a sticker to make it even on both sides, but I don't have any stickers that look like this one. So I, I, I've just kind of left it alone. Uh, but the detail on the truck is very nice. You can see all the little panels and rivets everywhere. Uh, even the bottom of the trailer is very, very um, detailed. So it looks very nice. The wheels are nice. Once you paint them, the wheels look good. So there's that. So, as I was mentioning, as you can see, the uh, it's got the outriggers right there, so you can just take it off the truck, and it sits perfectly fine. So uh, that is the, uh, the trailer right there, and we're going to get into the weapon storage later. But first, why don't we get into transformation? Oh, before I do that, I actually almost, I almost forgot one thing. <laughs> so uh, while we're still in truck mode, in trailer mode, so let's say we got Optimus hooked up right here. So here in uh, for, for the trailer mode, I'll just angle him back this way. The, uh, the trailer does have enough room to fit most of your deluxe size uh, Autobots. So there's Bumblebee right there. You can actually, most of your deluxe size Autobots will fit in there. I think Ratchet won't fit. But uh, other than that, like you could put Sideswipe in there. Obviously, Bumblebee can fit in there. Um, you can fit a whole one, count them, one deluxe size Autobot in there. But as you can see, it fits perfectly fine and just like that. So that's that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. So there you go. There's uh, Bumblebee in, in the trailer. I think, you know what, let's just leave him in there uh, for the reveal later. So uh, let's set that aside and we'll get back to the transformation. So for transforming this guy like i mentioned this guy is pretty simple to transform we're going to start off right here at the hood and we're just going to pull it forward and then just kind of flip it up get it get it out of the way for the time being 
take the whole back of the truck right here and just pull this down and there's a hinge right here and so there's there's two hinges that you got to look at there's a hinge right there you can probably see that pin and then right here these are going to be the hips of the robot you can turn it at the hips but you don't want to do that you actually want to make sure you turn it at this hinge right there since that is going to be his crotch so you're going to want to turn that all the way down you can see a little tab right there and that's going to come all the way down just like so uh come down here and split the whole back of the truck open and then these guys are going to kind of accordion out and rotate back in again to extend the legs so let's see if we can get that on camera so you is that that'll pop off and then this whole legs are going to kind of come out and right back down again there's a little tab and a port right there you're going to want to get those guys pegged into just like that take the half of this half of the hitch right here flip this guy up take the uh part of this wheel right here the very back wheel and that's going to rotate and you can see a peg and port right there so plug that guy right in there turn that back part of the hitch to create the foot so same thing on this side just extend the leg make sure you peg that in flip up the hitch turn the wheel in and rotate the toes and that's pretty much your legs pretty much done right there uh go ahead and take the front of the truck one more time uh rotate it down and that's going that should allow you let's see is now the time now it's not the time let's do this first uh take the top of the cab right here and split this in half and these guys are pegged in right there and it's also pegged in at the top here and these two tops are pegged into the front of that sleeper cab right there so sometimes it takes a little doing a little pulling uh in my case it's taking a lot of pulling what's going on here <laughs> let's see i'm just going to go ahead and extend these out not exactly the order that i wanted to do the transformation in but yeah those guys were pegged in pretty good so these guys were like that so just separate those these two tabs right there and spin these guys all the way out just like so now take the cab or the nose rather flip it down and that's going to allow you to rotate this whole top of the truck around just like so go back to the uh nose of the cab again rotate it up one more time and it's going to peg in to place just like so the arms right here when you brought them around you can see the mirrors of the truck right there there's a little port on the side of the truck so those guys are going to peg in right there and uh we're going to want to adjust our camera up some because we did get a little bit tall here this is really cool i absolutely love this part of the transformation so uh bring the arms down as you saw earlier these guys do extend out just like that take these little panels you can you can angle those upwards if you want you can leave them flat it's really kind of your preference but in the movie he did kind of have these uh these things that stuck straight up and while it's if they weren't panels like that it does kind of at least make for something sticking out so you can do that if you want bring these guys down and then there is an epic head reveal for this figure you're going to grab this guy right at the shoulders you're going to pull the shoulders apart the chest is going to split open and epic head reveal i love that so much and there is Optimus Prime in robot mode. Here in robot mode, Optimus is approximately six inches tall and uh, very nice sculpt. I really enjoy the sculpt. I think he looks very, very much like he did in the movie without a lot of kibble. Now, there is a front of the truck backpack on him the whole nose of the cab does be uh, of the truck rather becomes a backpack for him and that is very unfortunate i typically really dislike this uh in this case i don't know why don't ask me i don't understand why but it doesn't bother me as much as it normally would and i think that's because the rest of the figure just looks so so good and he's so unhindered uh, unhindered he there's not a lot of um of kibble hanging out of him uh and he just the design on him is just really really nice i'll bring him in close uh so we can look at the face very very nice head sculpt just like the one in the movie he's got his face shield up which is good i like my optimus to have his uh face shield up uh, articulation is nice he's got some rotation at the head so you can turn the head side to side let's get focus back on uh the shoulders are on a ball joint so very nice range of motion here in and out forward backward all over the place you have a rotation at the bicep you have a double hinge at the elbow because of the transformation so you can get a lot of uh movement out of there uh there is a hinge at the waist however this is pretty much useless in robot mode that hinge right there is solely for transformation so if you've got the backpack all the way up you're not going to get any movement out of the waist you can always unclip the backpack a little bit to turn him uh and again still you're going to be somewhat unhindered you know how much of that do you want to pull out of the uh of the backpack uh just for the sake of turning his waist that's really kind of up to you but it does break it up in the back so just know that 
Uh, the uh, the hips are also on a ball joint, so in and out, forward and backwards, all over the place. You have a rotation at the top of the hip or the thigh right there. You have a good uh, pin joint, uh, at least a 90. Yeah, you got a 90, good 90 right there at the knee. And then the, uh, the toes have some uh, pivot to them, just kind of inwardly, so that you can give them some dynamic poses and just kind of straighten out his feet, which is really, really nice. So this is, uh, one more time, this is the deluxe um the walmart exclusive one so we'll just get this guy standing right here we'll bring him his uh his gun so you can see what he looks like with his gun just like that and i believe this was the same gun that came with the deluxe uh bumblebee i think the one that was in the trailer earlier i think this might i mean this gun came with optimus but i think it's the same style the same design gun it was either that or um one of the two skids and muff flaps brought brought one of these but i i think it was uh bumblebee and you can always just do the whole axe thing with him so he can go around cutting people's faces off so there's there's the uh the Lux walmart exclusive one and for comparison we'll bring in the movie trilogy one and as you can see a lot more subdued in the colors um in the robot mode i really like the colors on this guy a lot more than truck mode i like the walmart version because of the gold and the silver wheels and all that the robot mode i really enjoy this guy right here as you can see all the grays are a lot darker on this guy the um the Reds are more deeper and vibrant um, than they are on this guy over here. Very, very nice paint job. But uh, as you can see, the, the face sculpt, or the head sculpt rather, is going to be the same. Let's get focused in. So no head sculpt. Typically, this is kind of surprising because typically this would be a one of those situations where they would take advantage of this and make another head sculpt, one without a faceplate when they make uh, two Optimus Primes like this. Um, they, that didn't happen here. I'm kind of surprised. I'm not upset about it because, like I said, I like my faceplates on my Primes. But I am surprised that they did not take that opportunity to do that. It's kind of weird. So there they are. That's what these two Primes look like together. And, uh, and just for comparison with another deluxe class from the same line, here he is with Bumblebee. This is the same Bumblebee that was in the trailer earlier. And uh, it does kind of break up a little bit here in that it shows off just how small a Deluxe Optimus Prime really is. I mean, Prime is still a little taller than Bumblebee at the head, but overall, Bumblebee just looks bigger and bulkier. So it, do it does kind of break that up a little bit in that sense. But there you go. So you see what these guys look like together. Now, we were talking about weapon storage earlier, so we'll bring in the trailer. And the trailer is very cool. I, uh, it, it, this is not the most involved trailer that we've ever seen, but it is kind of cool. Let's see. We'll put these guys in the background. There you go. That'll make for a cool background there. So as you saw earlier, the whole um, back of the truck opens up and it creates a ramp for your Autobots. And then this whole side of the truck right here is going to split. And you can just grab it right here at this rail. You can see there's a couple. Well, I should probably have mentioned this earlier. You can see the mech tech ports right around uh, the trailer so when you are in truck mode if you want to do so you can kind of create an attack mode by attaching weapons and you can attach up to four weapons on the outside of the trailer while you're in truck mode uh, these rails right here um, I haven't tried this but they look like the appropriate size for maybe some clip those um, five millimeter clip weapons that we saw a lot of during both Revenge of the Fallen and Dark of the Moon so it's possible you can clip on some weapons here as well but you can take the, you can grab them right here at this uh, this rail and just pull this entire side up, and uh, the whole trailer opens up into what is supposed to be a weapon storage. And as you can see, I've got a couple of Mechtech weapons already in there. Uh, this guy, I believe, this is Bumblebee's weapon right here. And, and as you can see, it's the same weapon that this Prime had over here. Just the colors are a little different. And then I've got this other weapon here, and this is either. Side swipes or get some muff flaps. One of those two brought this guy right here, and you can pull on this guy, and he becomes a, he goes from a gun to a double barrel gun. So there you go. And again, this is you can tell this is a deluxe class weapon because it doesn't lock. So there you go. So you've got uh, you've got a couple of ports on the inside here. You got those four ports, the same ports as the outside were, and then you've got three ports down here. So you can use them and just kind of mix and match them um, to try and get your weapons put away in there. And uh, it's very cool. I always enjoy the idea of Optimus Prime's trailer being the weapon storage so that these guys just roll into battle. It just kind of gives the trailer a purpose. 
you know, the uh, uh, every time when the original cartoon he transformed and the trailer would just disappear. And this really just kind of gives the trailer a purpose. Uh, because if you remember originally, they would always just kind of reach around their back and their ma weapon would just magically be there. I like the idea that the uh, trailer opens up and everybody just runs over there, grabs their weapons and goes into battle. It just really gives the trailer a purpose and uh, it gives you somewhere to put away the weapons when you're in vehicle mode so that they're not sticking on him. <laughs> just blatantly sticking there. Um, so I like that a lot. So we'll set this guy off to the back. We'll get these guys in the front for a cool little shot here. Uh, just on our way out. And uh, why, not? We'll just, why not just have everything fall apart right at the very end of the video? Why not? <laughs> so let's get everybody centered. This looks cool. This is a very cool set. If you can still find one and you're a fan uh, of either the movie or just a fan of Optimus Prime in general, this is a very cool little set to have. Either of these uh, figures, whether you got the um, the Walmart exclusive one or the one that came with the trailer, uh, it's a very, very nice Prime. I enjoy the mold on, in the sculpt on this guy a lot. And uh, the, the trailer, like I mentioned, while it doesn't do much, it's not the most dynamic trailer that we've ever seen. It works well as a weapon storage. It gives you somewhere to put some of those uh, mech tech weapons that you've probably got floating around in a box or a bag somewhere under your desk. So uh, now typically Prime is not this back heavy. I don't know why I'm having trouble standing him up. Well, I know exactly why I'm having trouble standing him up. It's because we're in front of the camera. If it's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong in front of the camera. So <laughs> there you go. So yeah, that's a very cool shot there. But yeah, um, it's like I said, the uh, the trailer, not the most dynamic, but you've probably, if you've collected movie toys, you have a bag or a box full of mech tech weapons somewhere that you don't know what to do with because you probably don't display your your, uh, your mech tech weapons. And I understand that. So this is a perfect option. It gives you somewhere to put them. And it's a cool accessory for Optimus Prime. So I enjoy it a lot. So um, with that, I think that pretty much covers Transformers Dark of the Moon, Deluxe Class, and Movie Trilogy Optimus Prime. What did you think of this figure, and what would you like to see me review next? Let me know by leaving me a comment. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.